As a kid, my parents let me try out many different activities in the hopes that one day I would find one I really liked. This included quite a few sports, none of which worked out very well. For instance, in soccer, I spent more time staring at clouds and daydreaming than actually trying to kick the ball. My most defining memory from equestrian was getting bucked off the horse and having the air knocked out of me. And all swimming ever really taught me was how much I disliked deep water. Suffice to say, none of these sports lasted very long and I moved on to other things. It wasn't until I was almost in high school and discovered archery that I truly fell in love with the sport. In May 2012, almost four years ago, my parents and I stopped at the Mayfest Festival in Fort Worth to walk around and look at all the stands. On our way out, a couple hours later, one last booth caught my eye. The Texas Department of Parks and Wildlife had set up a little archery range. I was interested and convinced my parents to let me go try it out. The volunteer handed me a little compound bow and had me shoot at a foam boar a couple yards away. By some miracle, I actually managed to hit it and got really excited. As we were walking back to the car, I remember telling my dad, that was so much fun, do you think I can do it again sometime? Over the next couple of weeks, I bugged him continuously about it, but it worked. On May 15th, my 14th birthday, I received my very first bow. My grandpa and my dad helped me set up a target in the backyard, and every night I would go outside to practice. Of course, I was completely inaccurate at first. All of the holes in our backyard fence are proof of that. But when I actually managed to hit the center, I always got this very happy and accomplished feeling. And I think that's the feeling that really drove me to continue shooting, even though I wasn't very good, and convinced me to go out and practice every night, even though I didn't always want to. A couple months later, my mom found a coach, and things took off from there. That's when it became more than just a fun thing to do in the backyard. I started learning about bow tuning and proper form and all the other little things that make a big difference in arrow flight. My accuracy also improved a lot. Eventually, my parents even trusted me enough to let me shoot inside the house, and I haven't broken any windows yet. Soon, I would compete in my first indoor competition, and I haven't stopped competing since. If I had to pick two of my most memorable archery experiences, the first would be the USA Compound Junior Dream Team Selection Camp. In November of 2014, I flew all the way to Chula Vista, California for a chance to be chosen for the team. While we were there, we shot arrows for score, played archery games, and learned about NTS, the National Training System. I met many other young archers, several of which would become very good friends of mine, and even got to meet some of the resident archers who live at the Olympic Training Center year-round. By the time it was over, I had learned so much and met so many incredible people that I really didn't want to go home. I had gotten a taste of what being a part of the team would be like, and I knew it was something that I wanted to be a part of. The next couple weeks of waiting were a little stressful, but I was just even more happy when I received an email saying that I had been accepted onto the team. My most memorable archery experience is probably my first international tournament, mainly because it didn't go at all as I had planned. I still get slightly, um, we flew, I got to go all the way to Rome, Italy last summer for the European Youth Cup as a part of the Dream Team. I still get nervous going to local tournaments, so flying all the way across the Atlantic certainly did not help my nerves. To make matters worse, I wasn't shooting as well as I normally did. About an hour before the field closed on the last practice day, one of the coaches discovered the problem. Some of my equipment had been set up improperly and needed to be fixed, which meant I went into the qualification scoring ends with some major bow adjustments. I shot better than I had during practice, but still quite a bit worse than what I had hoped for. I was really disappointed, and I felt like I let the rest of the team down. But I did my best to stay positive and cheer on the other archers. Two days later were team rounds. Two other archers and I would compete against teams from other countries. I did my very best to block out all distractions and any thoughts on how much my equipment had changed, and instead focused all of my energy on the target. And I can honestly say that I probably shot better during that match than I have at any tournament I've ever been to. Our team went all the way to the gold medal match and won. It was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. 
Unfortunately, the tournament officials decided not to award team medals based on the matches, so we actually went home with the bronze. At first, I was a little upset, but in the end, I realized that I had gained a lot more from that tournament than a medal. It taught me a lot about the mental side of archery and to not focus on just the negatives when things go wrong. Archery truly is an amazing sport. I've met so many incredible people and learned so much from being a part of it. It's even brought me closer to my family, especially my dad, who probably loves the sport more than I do. It's taught me about dedication and time management and believing that I can do anything that I'm willing to put time and effort into. Now I can't see my life without archery and I hope to be shooting far into the future. Thank you.